Thank you, everyone, so much. It is truly a thrill to be here tonight. Welcome to the gala in the Great Hall. It is indeed a thrill to be back on Ellis Island and in this magnificent hall again, hosting an event for the Statue of Liberty Ellis Island Foundation. We think of all the people, some 12 million of them, between 1892 and 1954, who passed through this very hall, waiting to be admitted to this wonderful country with the hope of becoming American citizens. Actually, a group of 10 individuals did exactly that earlier this evening. Perhaps you were witness to the naturalization ceremony in the baggage room, during which Foundation Board member Michael Donovan officially became an American citizen. Tonight, in honor not only of those who came through Ellis, but those who came well before it opened and long after it closed its doors, we celebrate the completion of the Peopling of America Center in what is now the Ellis Island National Museum of Immigration. I hope you had the opportunity to visit the new galleries during the reception. They are truly magnificent. Now, please join me in welcoming one of the most dynamic Broadway voices known today. That voice comes from the Tony Award-nominated and exquisitely talented Norm Lewis, who will sing the immortal anthem, God Bless America, written by a son of Ellis Island, Irving Berlin. Norm? From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam God bless America my home sweet home Next year the National Park Service will celebrate its centennial and I can think of no better way to kick off the 100th anniversary of the National Park Service than to celebrate one of the National Park Service's most dedicated, long-standing partners, the Statue of Liberty Ellis Island Foundation. I would like to welcome everyone to this lovely evening, and perhaps even more importantly, to thank you for your support. This means so much to us. We do some wonderful things, but we couldn't do it without the commitment and the support that we get from so many people, so many people like you. So thank you. I am very proud of what we have accomplished over the last 30 years. Working in close partnership, as you've heard, with the National Park Service and the several superintendents who are here, um, has been the most, it has been the most successful public-private partnership in U.S. history. Ellis Island has long been a symbol of American immigration, and now at last, the full story of those who have arrived from the time of the Native Americans right up to the people arriving today is told. Tonight, we honor three outstanding individuals for major contributions they have made to the American experience, and we celebrate their unique immigrant heritage. I introduce you now a true daughter of Ellis Island. As you'll learn, all four of her grandparents came through here, and what a granddaughter they produced. An actress with a voice and a commanding presence who knew from her earliest childhood that she would be a performer. And boy, was she ever right. Her 40-year career has brought her numerous awards, nominations, and critical acclaim. Right now, she is in rehearsal for Shows for Days to open soon at Lincoln Center Theater. So let us now honor Patti Lapone. I don't know much about my grandparents because they were quite old by the time I was able to appreciate them. And even then, I didn't get to know them because they didn't speak a word of English, nor I any Italian. The irony here is that I feel more Italian than my mother ever felt. I'm very proud to be an American. I'm extremely proud of my Italian heritage and grateful for this honor, which my grandfather would never have envisioned. Congratulations, Pasquale Lupone! Here's a message from Libby O'Connell, History Channel's chief historian. On behalf of History and A&E Networks, I want to congratulate the Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island Foundation, and the National Park Service on the grand opening of the Peopling of America Center. We have a long history with the Statue of Liberty National Monument and Ellis Island, 
For more than 15 years, History Channel has been producing short films for these iconic sites. How best to describe Henry Louis Gates, Jr., a literary scholar and critic, an award-winning filmmaker, a journalist, an author, an essayist, the Alphonse Fletcher University professor and director of the Hutchins Center for African American Research at Harvard University. He is the man who can tell you who you really are. Over 16 million viewers watch Finding Your Roots on PBS, making Skip Gates a household name. Definitely one of the world's most successful multitaskers, and you're about to see what I mean. It's a great honor uh, to be in the company of Patty and Diane, and it's wonderful to be here in this magical space. I hope that we'll be able to reignite this love of learning and heritage, which is as fundamental a part of the black tradition, really, as any other tradition, but far too many of our people have lost their way and forgotten that. And using that curriculum, I hope we take the African-American people not back to the future, but black to the future. Thank you very much for this great honor. Dion von Furstenberg, forget the faded images you have seen of women arriving on these shores wrapped in the last shreds of clothing they possessed. This lady arrived wrapped in a dress that would become a fashion icon as much as is the woman who created it. That dress went on to explode into a company that is now a global luxury lifestyle brand. She is a wife, a mother, a grandmother, and an inspiration to women all over the world. Her and her husband's family foundation is extremely generous, including gifts to this city, the place where the Belgian-born Dion von Furstenberg first arrived. Let's learn more about this truly incredible woman. Wow, thank you. Thank you. I had with me a baby in my stomach. In my suitcase, I had a bunch of samples. And in my heart, I had a lot of hopes. And I did come here. I did see the Statue of Liberty. And I did live an American dream. And I am extremely. And I am extremely thankful to this country. Everybody comes here with an American dream. And so I would like to share this award with Lady Liberty. She's my role model.